You know, here's a random question for you. Mm-hmm. You're a sniper. Mm-hmm. Have you ever engaged in hand-to-hand combat while in the military? No. No? no? I've seen it. I've seen it. I've heard stories, but I've never, thankfully, I never have. And one of my partners, a guy who I uh, tra- helped train up, he was a new guy. I was like on my second deployment. He went on to do great things. But my last deployment, he had he stabbed a guy. Um, but he ended up stabbing his hand in the process. I think going for him, then he stabbed his hand, but the knife went through his hand and got the guy as he was trying to, I don't know, do some, jump out, throw him out the window. Um, I've heard that. And then my last deployment, when we were pinned down with the Chechen sniper, uh, I heard a story. They were doing hand grenades, like danger close and painting Picasso pictures on the side of the embankment with hand grenades of people. And uh, somebody beating someone in the head with their helmet. Um, I know guys who have been in hand-to-hand combat, but me personally, no. Okay, so so forget about over there. Mm-hmm. Let's let's just talk here, right here in the states. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the best method of protecting yourself if you get caught up in an altercation in the street? Best method? Mm-hmm. Walk away if you can. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Best method? Because you just never know what that other person is capable of doing. Uh-huh. You don't know their mindset. They may be, that may be their last straw and they have nothing else to lose or they feel that way. And yeah, best thing I would do, best thing you can do is, you know, try to ignore it, walk away. And if you are capable of defending yourself and you know how to do stuff, even more so because what you are going to do to that person, you can go to jail for. If it's not, it depends on how the courts look at it. But if it comes down to it and you have to defend yourself, if you don't have a gun or a knife, you know, uh, just probably look into carrying something, even if it's pepper spray. I don't know, I'm not a big thing about pepper spray, but um, your best line of defense is to always walk away. If you can't, I would study just vital portions of the body that there's no matter, no matter the amount of muscle you have around it, if you hit this point, they'll feel it. And that's from the groin to the solar plexus to the throat, trachea, eye gouging. Fighting shouldn't be, if you're in defense for yourself, it should never be, one, a fair fight, two, polite. It should be gritty, dirty, and like I tell my son, if you have to, uh, never mind, if you get into a fight, bring me back home and eyeball. It should be, but his first line of defense is always walk away, go seek help, t- ask, tell a teacher. But if someone keeps messing with you, bring me back home an eyeball. That's crazy. That's how I feel. That's like. crazy. And, and and the fact that you said you said it should never be a fair fight. Never, never, never. Wow. I think uh, we didn't sign a contract to fight in the first place. And for me to follow your rules, I kind of feel... Um, it's gonna sound like weird, but like uh, uh, beneath you at that point, because you didn't ask me what made you think that I was gonna play by your rules. I didn't, I don't, I have a whole different set of rules. So to have you, or for someone to want a fair fight would be like, like you own me already by saying, we're gonna do it this way. I don't wanna do it that way. If there's a brick or a, a rock or anything, if I'm in a car and you want me to get out and I smash you with my car, I won. You know, that's all I care about. 